What's happening, my fellow rangers? My name is Omega Ranger 26, and I'm back again with the next episode of Sea of Stars. So, in the last episode, we were introduced to the two main characters, being Zale and Valerie, and then we had a little tough with some monsters, and then we have gone back a couple of years to when they were kids. And I'm guessing the place they grew up, which is Moon Cradle, and their friend Garl unfortunately was injured by a monster, and now v Valerie and Zale are working to become Solstice Warriors. So we are now in the Zenith Academy, which is this building right here, and we are... I actually can't remember what we gotta do right now. I think we need to go over here though. No, we actually have to go to bed in the dorm, so I went to the wrong spot. <laughs> I think we have to go here. I could easily be wrong, but this sounds right. Might be up here. Oh, Zoe. No, that's not it. it. I'll find it. Um, aha! Guess when we use one of these beds. Go to sleep. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So in the first video, I did voices for the characters. I don't know if I'm going to keep that off. I think I'm just going to use my normal voice for when I'm reading stuff now, because I tried it in the first episode, and I don't think it went really well, so... We'll see. If you want me to do voices, put it in the comment section and I will see what I can do. If you don't, then I'll just go with normal voice. I'm going to go with normal voice for this episode, though, just because it's probably easier. Anyways, the next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brograves. I think that's how you say his name. So, you'll be our trainer? I wish. Alina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon this these should be well suited for the two of you. Zale received training sword. Okay. And Valerie received a training staff. Alright, let's get to work. I love the music in this game already. <sighs> you got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never! Whoa! Come on, Zale, keep up. I... I can do this! It's like I'm making a little bit of voice acting. Ninety-nine, one hundred! <laughs> That's it for today, you did great. Phew! That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Herlina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. On the terrace. I'd love to know where the terrace is. I'm guessing it's here. It's not. Uh, terrace, terrace. Where's terrace? Arlena is ready to see you. She's waiting just outside of the academy's entrance. Ah. Okay. So I should be going out here. Aha! Oh, there you are, ready to learn magic? It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. Okay. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly.
Oh. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it'll manifest on three. One, two, three. Aw. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well. But one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and... Erlina. Since you are done onboarding your new recruits in the way of ways of magic, I would provide the briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. Sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. What am I meant to do? Just a bunch of old books. Uh, um... What are you doing? I'll just walk around for a bit. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what to do next! <laughs> Nope, that's not it. Uh, I guess I'll leave the room and see if that does it. There we go. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left, <laughs> left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on can take the one on Wrath Island. We don't need them. Prudence Erlina Prudence? Uh the Sorry. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zale and Valerie were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So, how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Brograves! Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Brograves. And so they trained and they sewed for days, and then for months. Okay. Faster now! Oh? Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long, and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. 
since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our ma ma magic? <laughs> magic, really. Magic. How can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one known as the Dweller of Woe. But we cannot know for sure. The flesh... Fle oh my god, can I say flesh? The flesh mancer just may have planted another seed of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Zell? What happened with the dweller... The, the, uh, my god, I'm under no pressure! <laughs> what happened with the dweller of strife and who's Moyata? That will be all for today. He wasn't meant to know. Uh, a few weeks later, a sound in the night. Whoa. Zale, wake up! V Valerie, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. W what time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. It, all right. Let's see what's happening at the entrance. Let's see. Uh, wait. Okay. Uh, hey, look. Ooh, smells good. There's a note. Dear Zale and Valerie, it's Carl. If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a fail-safe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with a celestial willow jam you liked. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine, Moraine, Moraine is there waiting for me. I will seriously never be able to read. He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Garl. Garl's the best. Let's go up on the desk to eat the cookies. Desk. Jeez. Got cookie jar. Okay. Whoa. These cookies are amazing. Can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. <laughs> You're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never so sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It'll happen. We just have to keep on training hard.
And so they trained and they sewed for years. I was about to say, they don't look like they got older. And then they trained and sewed for even more. Until one day. Moon Cradle. Zale, that's the one! I can feel it too, hold on. Alright, I think I got it too. Let's go see the Headmaster. Whoa, they are much older now. Dude, still, I can't get over the art style. Like, I really can't. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations, moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can f deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith of Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just... Uh, oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Arlena and Brograves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it'll be time for your final test. Okay. Oh, uh, sure. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Use the left and right D-pad to cycle through available characters. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice but they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they all become available again. Okay, so I'm just gonna attack him. And then attack again. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal, and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press X as the hit connects to increase damage. That was too soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. Wow, that timing is tough. Good, let's see that one more time. Okay. There it is. Okay, it's a little bit forgiving. Ouch, yeah, that's the ge geist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much, just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. Whoa! Time to be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attacks or spells by blocking. Get ready. Press when it's about to hit. Wow, this is going to be tough. Holy moly. Good, let's see that one more time. Yeah, I, I knew I missed that. That was too soon. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. 
It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a timed block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. Jeez! <laughs> when a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. KO'd allies will get back on their own at 50% HP once all the KO stars are gone. KO star, one KO star is removed at the end of each round. Oh, the more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there will be, so be careful. If all party members are down, the game's over. Fight and survive until Valerie returns. Okay. Nope, I missed that timing. I've got a timing for my attack, but like... Oh my lord! Okay, there's Balbach, and there you have it. Good work today, I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Whew! That timing is not easy. Okay, so now... Ready to learn the basics of magic? Yep. Oh. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their con concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. Let's see you break this one. Okay. Okay, so... Got it. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for Sun and Valerie for Moon. Okay, so Sunball. If I can recall, I need to hold... Yeah. Okay. Boom. And then... Lunar pro Magic Projectile that can bounce to multiple targets. Okay. Oh my lord! <laughs> Well done, now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack now. Okay. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to... Uh, victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment, keep on varying your actions, and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you can come up with your first combo attack, show it to me. Okay. Solstice Strike. Dual attack each regenerate 3 MP. Okay. Oh, that... Yeah, you're strong, alright? Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. 
Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Okay, let's go to the final test. Are you ready for the final test then? Should be. Then let us begin. Okay, so I have a basic understanding. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Zale. Hmm, okay. Ahem. So that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valerie, I did it. Now it's your turn. Ahem. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I chose the staff for it won't break no matter how hard i strike welcome battle monk today you must demonstrate mastery of everything zen of academy has taught you your final challenge awaits below please step aside oh before i forget Here's a little something to keep your health full. Obtain three tomato clubs. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Zale. Let's just go for it. Let's go! Whee! Okay. Oh. Wait, no. Oh. I'm kind of hoping that there's... I'm really hoping that there's like a save point. Found an ornate stone. Oh man. Nice. Um, let's do this. Okay, not bad. Boom. There we go. Got 16 experience points. Nice. 
Oh no. I wanna do actually I'll just do a regular attack. Oh lord. Let's do this. Okay. Let's get back over here. And uh, I know it's a bit of a cliffhanger, but this is actually where I'm going to end this episode because it's getting a bit long. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, the Stars game is also really fun. I'm loving the art style. The music is amazing. And yeah, so... Of course, comment, like, and subscribe, and I shall... Or, sorry, I forgot my own intro. This is Omeka Ranger, signing out. Bye, guys.